I did break out in syndication with People's Court. That was fun because that again was a, a new concept uh, uh, with a new company, uh, Telepictures, who we had done business with, whom I liked, you know, very much. We had, uh, uh, let's see, it's Dick Robertson and Mike Solomon and Mike Gar Michael Guerin uh, at the beginning. And Mike Solomon is South America now, and uh, is, Dick Robertson is head of television at Warner's. Well, oh. Telepictures merged with Lorimar, which merged with Warner's. What, what were some of the what were some of the um, challenges of syndicating People's Court? Were there any? Well, it was it was a new type of thing. We represented Stu Billet. And Stu wasn't the creator of People's Court, but he had the vision of how to do it. And uh, the agent at the office was Steve Cottom. And he put them together with Ralph Edwards' production. And, you know, Ralph was a big man in the syndicated field. And then he had a relationship with KTLA. So he got KTLA to put up $50,000 in cash or equipment or studio space to finance the pilot of People's Court in exchange for a percentage of the budget. And it would be done there. Well, Joe Wapner was the judge, and that uh, we made the deal with Telepictures, and we were able to negotiate a very favorable deal with what distribution fees are, because a normal fee for uh, anywhere could be today from thirty-five to 40 to 50 percent, and we negotiated a far better deal than that. I don't think I want to say what the exact terms were. And it, it, it was interesting. And we had all kinds of safety things of being able to pull out. We had dates by which sales figures had to be met to know that we were going forward. It was really kind of complicated, but it was fun. It was different. And of course, it turned out to be wonderful. And I remember the first NAPI I went to was at was in Vegas, and Telepictures had a party, and it was very small. There may be forty or fifty people there, and Judge Wapner and I jitterbugged.